Good morning, friends and family, and family of friends. Welcome to the Friday edition of Morning Minutes, where we try to bring you fun and interesting local news and stories from around the world. Our goal is always no doom and no gloom, because, well, you get enough of that from the regular media. Bella and I hope you all had a great week, and we hope you are making the most of this winter wonderland. It's actually starting to feel like the snowy winters that I remember as a kid. Well, the day after tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday, so bring on those awesome Super Bowl commercials and hopefully a great halftime show would be nice for a change. This morning, sunrise was at 7.05 and sunset will be at 5.13, putting us down to 10 hours and 8 minutes of glorious daylight to make the most of. Presently, well, it's chilly 10 degrees outside, give or take a little bit depending on exactly where you live. Today you should expect mostly cloudy skies with steady winds from the west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. But hold your hats because we will have occasional gusts expected to reach speeds over 40 miles per hour. Woohoo! Well, we're not expecting any real precipitation over the weekend, but temps are going to nosedive with highs only expected to reach 11 degrees on Saturday and only 3 degrees on Sunday. <laughs> Sounds like a great weekend to binge watch your favorite show. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with a celebrity who is known for his roles as Tony Blair in The Queen and David Frost in Frost Nixon. He also appeared in the 1992 stage adaptation of Romeo and Juliet and played a role in the 2010 film The Special Relationship. In 2013, he began playing Dr. William Masters on the Showtime series Masters of Sex. He has been in a ton of movies such as Kingdom of Heaven, Tron Legacy, Alice in Wonderland, and the popular movie, Doolittle. In 2019, he starred as Azura Fail from the truly awesome book that inspired the Amazon miniseries, Good Omens. Michael Sheen turns 52 today. Our next celebrity is the R&B singer who founded New Edition, the group known for songs such as Cool It Now and Mr. Telephone Man. He had a successful solo career, winning a Grammy Award and curing several top 10 hits such as Girlfriend and My Prerogative. Bobby Brown turns 52 today. And our final celebrity shout out honors a man who recently moved on to the next great adventure. He is a legendary right fielder known as The Hammer. He set an MLB record with 755 career home runs, breaking Babe Ruth's record of 714 back in 1974. He was a 25-time All-Star, 4-time National League Home Run Champion, 2-time National League Batting Champion, and 1-time National League MVP over the course of his 23-year career, which was spent with the Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves and the Milwaukee Brewers. Hank Aaron was born on today's date back in 1934 and moved on to the baseball diamond in the sky at the age of 86 last month. Gone, but most certainly never forgotten. All right, this week's top rearview mirror news story starts with, uh, takes place on February 1st when the state of Texas accidentally issues an Amber Alert for cursed doll Chucky. The Texas Department of Public Safety said, er, said an Amber Alert that was issued for the cursed doll Chucky from the Child's Play horror films was a test that was accidentally sent out. The Amber Alert message that was sent out to subscribers of the Texas Alert System three times on Friday describes the suspect, Chucky, as wearing blue denim overalls with a multicolored striped long sleeve shirt and says he was last seen wielding a huge kitchen knife. Chucky was suspected of abducting Glenn Ray, the cursed doll's son from the film Seat of Chucky. <laughs> the alert included photos of both movie characters. The Texas Department of Safety said the fake Amber Alert was set up as a system test and it was never meant to be seen by the public. This was actually a test we were running on our department server and it accidentally went out, DPS spokesman Ruben Medina told KPRC-TV. Our next story also took place on February 1st when a New York State house becomes the first 3D printed home in the United States. It is being listed for sale online with an asking price of $299,999. The Riverhead home listed on Zillow was built by a company called SQ4D using an autonomous robotic construction system that involved a massive 3D printer creating each piece of the home at the building site. Built with concrete, this home will deliver strength and durability that conventional wood frame homes cannot match, the company said. 
The 1,400 square foot home features three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a detached two car garage. The process of building the home was chronicled by YouTuber Jarrett Gross in a series of videos. SQ4D said the company's ultimate goal is to produce homes in the same fashion to bring down the cost of home ownership. <laughs> Our last story takes place on February 2nd, where a species of birds making its seasonal return to North Texas is drawing attention from neighbors who witnessed some of our feathered friends engaging in unusual behavior <clears throat> after apparently getting drunk on fermented berries. Residents in the Fort Worth area said the cedar wax wings returned to North Texas around this time of the year, but they have noticed this time around that the birds are frequently seen acting disorientated and flying into windows after eating fermented berries. Well, because they eat predominantly berries, sometimes they eat berries that have fermented and are a little bit past their prime. Rachel Richter, an urban wildlife biologist with the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife, told WFAA-TV. Sometimes they tend to overindulge a bit, which can get them intoxicated. She said cases of cedar wax wings getting intoxicated from fermented berries is actually pretty common. She said an increase in reports this year is likely a result of COVID-19 keeping people at home during the day when the birds are more active. Cedar waxwings are generally found in Texas from late December until early April. Experts say not to worry because the birds have large livers that can detoxify the ethanol and prevent them from suffering any long-term ill effects from the fermented berries. <laughs> All right, on to our comedy corner. My printer was making music. So I checked it out and, well, the paper was jamming. <laughs> that one just screams dad joke, doesn't it? Okay, one more. The nurse tells me, there's an invisible man in the waiting room. The doctor replies, tell him I can't see him now. <laughs> All right, today is National Shower with a Friend Day, National Weather Person's Day, World Nutella Day, National Wear Red Day, and Bubblegum Day. Today's morning motivational is a simple, undeniable truth. A happy person is not a person in a certain set of circumstances, but rather a person with a certain set of attitudes. <laughs> Great message and so true. Attitude is everything, and it will do more to determine your overall happiness than anything else in your life. Remember, we can't control most of the things that happen in our lives and in the world around us, but we have complete control over how we view and react to those things. It's your journey. Make it an awesome one. Hey, well, guess you have the power. Belinda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you guys know it. We love to share what we come across, and we certainly hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's super important, and we really appreciate it. And please remember, Belinda and I are creative, high-energy real estate agents. We do have a fleet of drones to capture those awesome aerial shots of your home and property. We have literally invested thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours into our VR and 3D marketing equipment. We are your virtual marketing specialists in this virus conscientious world of ours. So if you're thinking of buying or selling, reach out to us for a free consultation because there is never an obligation and we will go the extra mile to reach your real estate goals. But thanks again for your time. Make it a great day and have an awesome weekend because you have the power. We're out of here. We'll talk to you later.